Good morning, everybody. Let's talk about things to look for when it comes to buying an older mobile home. I had a comment that I read this morning, I guess about 8 o'clock or 8.30, from an Alexandra Q. And she was wanting some help on things to look for when buying a mobile home. So, I'm going to do the best I can and give you some things to look for that I've kindly learned from this place. Um, so, let's start out in the outside. Or, yeah, yeah, let's start on the outside. So, your first initial visual inspection. I guess just walk around the mobile home and see if anything sticks out, like just pops. Um, that'd be the first thing I would do. And also notice the condition of the metal. Now, if you've got vinyl siding, it's a little bit different. Um, but let's go with metal, since mine's metal. Um, look for any bowls in the sheet metal. Look at the condition of the screws. There's more than likely a good chance that they're all gonna be rusty in pretty bad shape like this uh, after over time they might break off or pop off and it allows the metal panels to bow out which will allow critters and water and stuff like that to get inside your wall now i'm not too worried about the whole critter part but it's the water that you got to kind of be aware of they might create water damage mold stuff like that and here is a small example of the panels bowing out right here now that's not bad that's just to give you an example of what to kind of look for if it was really bad you could probably get three or four fingers in it um yeah just look out for stuff like that look for dents look for places on the roof where you might have had a tree fall and land on it and uh, cause damage to the inside structure like happened to mine there was a big tree out front and it fell and right here where the roof has got that little bend it was all mashed down and it crushed the inside uh, wall frame um what else to look for uh yeah if you can get far away enough like maybe hill that's just up the street where you can kind of see the roof see make sure there's no big dents in the in the roof itself get a ladder or have a friend climb up on top of the roof and take a look at it make sure you know the coating's good uh, check to make sure see that there's not a whole bunch of rust or maybe damage that could be causing leaks in the future point in case my roof the coating was just is totally destroyed but the roof is in good shape and there's no rust so i don't have any holes and there's no more leaks um, so let's, let's move on down and I'll show you where I had my tree damage. Okay, if you look up here, you can see where it's all mashed in. That's where the tree that was at one time growing right here, a big old fat branch fell off and crushed that whole part of that. That's why I rebuilt that wall and the stuff in there. And that right there caused the floor damage. And it just kind of compounded and went over to the bathroom wall. And then there was a lot of water damage from this window when that happened also which eventually caused everything in the bathroom basically to fail so keep an eye out for that stuff also if you can get underneath the trailer if it's got underpinning take you a flashlight and again maybe bring a friend if you don't want to crawl up underneath of it and look at the condition of the insulation underneath the floor so you want to look at the condition of the insulation now you notice i've got an insulation dangling here i got some dangling here all this stuff right here for me it doesn't bother me because it's all going to get tore out anyway but in your case if you've got insulation that's sagging falling down you'll have to get that fixed also see if the insulation is soaking or it's uh, got a lot of moisture in it because you get a lot of moisture comes from the ground it gets the insulation wet and it falls to the ground and it molds and it's no fuck no good um, a lot of trailers should have a wrap underneath of it that holds the insulation up or keeps it from falling down check to see if that's in good shape as you can see i don't have one it's all been rotted away over time and all that little stuff uh, also pay attention to your water lines underneath the trailer see if they're like made out of old pvc or if they've been updated to pex um, depending on how old your mobile home that you're looking at is you might need to keep that in consideration 
if, to have that replaced ask the homeowner how many times it's frozen busted uh, I think it's about it for the outside like I said I'm trying to make this really quick so that way you can see it hopefully before you go see the mobile home you're looking at so let's go inside okay now pardon my mess everything is just kind of screwy because I've been doing a lot of work in here on the pantry I've been doing some more wiring stuff so uh, first thing that I would do I would look at the ceiling and check for water leaks this right here is a, a previous water leak and this water leak around this outlet not good of course this has been dry for a long time uh, you can see or there's been water damage here at one point in time and it's got these singing towels with now if you don't see any water spots keep your eyes peeled for the ceiling tile getting swollen a lot of times it gets wet and it just kind of expands um uh, pay attention if the ceiling's been recently painted if it has been recently painted that would kind of tip me off to pay extra close attention because they might be trying to cover something up now my ceiling's been painted once before but it didn't stop that so and you can kind of see see where this is shiny and this is flat either this was the original ceiling color and they painted it with a semi-gloss you can kind of tell but it didn't hide up all the water problems so yeah keep an eye out for that uh, also notice how the ceiling tiles are hanging i put this piece these pieces of luon up here to hold the ceiling up because it had all broken from where it had twisted when it was abandoned it fell off the blocks basically and, and ceiling tiles were coming down as i just recently learned Pay attention you don't have any big bows like this right here on my trailer is sagging i've got to rebuild this and push it back up just keep your eyes peeled just notice just anything that kind of sticks out at you just kind of investigate it a little bit further and ask a bunch of questions um yeah so let's move to the electrical now you folks know i'm not a i'm not a really good guy to be telling you about electrical stuff but I have learned a few things, and I'm going to show you what I learned. Now, you can go to Home Depot and Lowe's and spend, I think these are like 10 bucks, and this is an electrical tester. It will tell you if your outlets and stuff are wired properly or if there's an issue. All you got to do is take it to your outlet, plug it in, and it will light up. And according to how it lights up, it will tell you if it's good or if it's a problem. You can see I got good orange. This is wired correctly, and everything is all hunky dory. Now I do have a bad outlet over here. Pardon my garbage can. Now if I hook it up here, plug it in, it don't do nothing. There's no power going to that bottom outlet, so I know I've got an issue there. But if I plug it into the top one, man, this is kind of hard to do. One hand. There we go get in there dumb dumb the top one's working just fine so go to every outlet in your house or the mobile home or the manufactured home and give her a test didn't hurt nothing won't break nothing and give you peace of mind let you know the wiring's good also go through and turn on everything you can possibly turn on turn on all the lights um, if you got acs turn them on fans turn them on furnace whatever turn it all on and see if anything blows as far as you know on the breaker because i know if i hook up say like a fan and my window ac and then try to run a vacuum on this same wall here it'll blow one of my breakers so you know check it out it's not a big thing but it will tell you you know what the problem is and also Check the condition of your breaker. See if you've got anything missing or anything hanging out or dangly or it just looks like shoddy work that's been done inside the breaker. Maybe it, you know, give you a little bit of information on how well the place has been kept. Uh, turn on all the water. Make sure your hot and cold water works. Ask them if they've ever replaced the water heater because chances are if a water heater is five to seven years old, it's about ready to be replaced. The water heaters get built up with sediment and the the heating elements inside the furnace will get all 
gummy and it just stops it fails it stops working so ask that pay attention to your feet and when i <laughs> i mean pay attention to your feet walk all over the floor of the trailer that you can especially along the walls and see if the floor feels spongy if it's got a little bounce to it chances are you've had some water in the wall and it's gotten to the floor and there's a problem if it's got paneling in the trailer look at the condition of the paneling around the windows if you can see mine right here see how they're there's the the lamination of the paneling it's all separated and it's bowed out there could be a couple reasons for that but i pretty much know it's due to water okay no. Well, water issue here and then what can happen is if the water's leaking and it gets inside the wall it sits on the two by four or the two by three or whatever framing in the wall and that wood's not treated and it rots and it can rot bad where there can really be no structural rigidity to this wall whatsoever because the water damage is so bad kind of like if you go back in my trailer videos back in the you know the first ones when i started working on the kitchen wall the kitchen wall is basically dirt because the wall is so rotten the same way with the bathroom pay attention to that i mean you can walk up on it and you can push it you know and loot or just listen to it a little bit and uh, you can see some spots if there's water damage um also pay attention to how the doors open and shut if the trailer's twisted or it's settled or it's not quite level your doors and stuff won't shut properly now in my case as long as it's not over 95 degrees outside and high humidity this door here shuts perfectly fine but get hotter than that then this the metal kind of expands and i can't hardly open that door it's, it's or sh shut it to the point where it latches um but this door here always shuts fine it's got a nice seal I think that's it like just off the top of my head again I apologize you know for the condition of my place because you all know I'm constantly doing stuff in here so um, <clears throat> yeah I think that's about it y'all so Alexandra I hope this helps you hopefully you get it in time um, if anybody else has any feedback or comments leave them below and uh, Hopefully it can help her out or maybe help somebody else out that's looking to buy an older mobile home. So anyways, guys, see you all later.